Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have an Eagle Rare whiskey on our cask. It's a Kentucky straight bourbon from Frankfurt. Frankfurt, Kentucky, yeah, near the Kentucky River. And that is a Buffalo Trace whiskey. It's a brand from the Buffalo Trace Distillery. The Buffalo Trace Distillery has many brands and they are a very big and very, very old distillery. In fact, they are the longest continuously producing distillery in America, I think. And that's because they, during the prohibition, they produced medicine. Yes, that's why they are the oldest. And the Eagle Rare here is one of their, I would say, premium whiskies. That's because it it looks like a normal no age statement whiskey but if you turn it around uh, here you see aged 10 years so it's a uh, not just a kentucky straight bourbon whiskey but it is also an age statement whiskey no coloring no oh i'm not quite sure about the chill filtration but no coloring probably not chill filtered as it has 45% and usually if you have a bit of a higher strength than 40% you don't need it for uh, need the chill filtration but I don't know about it. Um, Buffalo Trace is a very interesting distillery because uh, when you come to the distillery they have a wonderful huge ground that they are now a national historic landmark and the other thing what you find out is that they do some things quite differently at Buffalo Trace. First of all, they take their grain they use, they have probably different mash bills, and they take the grain and they cook it separately. Usually you put in first, I think first you put in the corn, and then you put in the wheat, and then you put in uh, your, your barley, or between and then comes the rye. I'm not quite sure which which way it is round for for the usual bourbon um, cooking of grain, and they cook their grain all separately. They're so big they can afford more grain cookers, and they have one for rye, they have one for barley, they have one for corn, and I'm not quite sure if they use wheat anyway. If you'd like to know more about that, I have done a video about the Buffalo Trace Distillery where I go through all the stages and it's really amazing how big and how uh yeah strong all of the distillery is and what they also do is they are very 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 keen on the maturation of their different whiskies different spirits and that is just amazing they have experiments with light no light temperature and and other influences i've just cut my nails and it's really hard to open uh, there you go and oh lately i get the, the premium bourbon i just had a, a 12 year old kentucky straight bourbon now i have a 10 year old kentucky straight bourbon mm, oh i can already smell it from here oh that's gonna be great oh nice oh a lot of depth it has a good amount of oak in there, but it has a, a bit of a, that oak, I know it's fresh American white oak as all Kentucky straight bourbons are, but it smells a little bit more like a, like a, an old wine cellar. That's a bit unusual for a Kentucky straight bourbon. It's not so forward, sweet, popcorn, caramel as it as it usually is it's it does have a sweetness but an underlying sweetness uh, and 45 percent abv you can have that easily straight mm. Mm -hmm. heavier than expected heavier than expected so it, it really hits you with a a lot of oak and a little bit 
bit of sweetness. I, I really don't know this from the Kentucky Straight Bourbon I had so far. This is a a full-fledged, full-matured, strong, oaky, bittersweet Kentucky Straight Bourbon with an underlying sweetness. There's a bit of a sweetness going on, especially now that I've swallowed it for a long time. The, the aftertaste is... Um, goes more into a normal Kentucky Straight Bourbon, as I would have expected. But the, the start was really a, a hefty, strong, intense one. Mm. Mm. Okay. The... the the oak flavors and the bitter sweetness and a little bit of tannin in there as well. They really they push the, the sweetness a little bit to the back so so it's more like a hmm, very unusual. I would have expected it much differently. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay, if you don't like the bourbon that are also very sweet and forward and popcorn-like, if you don't like these, maybe you have a try of the Eagle Rare 10 year old. I've just caught a glimpse uh, on the side. Kentucky State Bourbon has a sweet and oaky nose and full complex body. Yeah? Sweet, mm -hmm. medium sweet, oaky nose, definitely. Uh, reminiscence of a fine port wine. Yeah, at the beginning was a bit of a that way, like an old wine cellar in the nose. This rare whiskey is burst safe need or okay ice and stuff and cocktails Manhattan whiskey sour. Yeah, it might be good in a in a whiskey sour or in different cocktails because it has a bit of a outstanding note for for its strength in oak and bittersweetness, wine note, that kind of thing. So um, in terms of uh, money, this is one of the best priced double digit aged American whiskies that I know. It's 10 years of age and in Germany you pay about 35, 37, euros for it and I guess in the States it must be around 40 something like there and a 10 year old American or Kentucky straight bourbon um, usually costs more than 40 so it's a it's a very good price but be aware it's not your usual Kentucky straight bourbon it's a bit of a more hefty more oomph more strength to it yeah that was it Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to know more about Buffalo Trace, there's a lot to see at the Buffalo Trace video on our channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.